Hey guys, so before this cold front came through, we were looking at lows getting down into the teens, and which is pretty dangerous. If you saw the video before, that uh, can cause some pretty severe problems with our plants and our turf. But we didn't expect to stay cold for you know days on days. And what ended up happening, we actually got into the single digits and we stayed below freezing for basically the whole week. So what that means for our plants is it's it's pretty severe um, and a, a lot of it's just gonna have to kind of wait. We'll have to wait, watch, see what happens with some of these plants. Most of our trees will be okay. So if we start there, the um, like our live oak trees, which is kind of a prized possession in, in all of our, on our properties, the, they'll, they're semi-evergreen. So they don't all, they're not an actual true evergreen tree. So what they'll probably do, if you haven't already started to see it, the leaves will start to turn brown. It'll start dropping those and it should come back as we start warming back up in March and April. And we shouldn't have too much damage on those. Uh, where the problem's probably gonna be most on our, our plants in our planting beds. A lot of the ones that typically that don't take damage from cold, we're, I'm already starting to see it around in people's landscapes. A lot of leaves turning brown and black. And it doesn't mean necessarily that the plant's dead. It would, it, it's probably doing, it's just it burned those leaves off. It's gonna drop those. Whether we need to cut those plants back or they will reemerge with new leaves in the spring. We just kind of have to wait and see what happens. There are some plants that we'll be able to tell pretty quick whether or not they, um, that they took a lot of damage and they need to either be cut down to the ground or removed because all of your plants aren't going to probably survive all of this. This is pretty drastic on, on any of our plant material. And the big thing here is gonna be patience we just need to wait and see what comes back. Now there are gonna be things like your agaves and cactus. Since those have a, a lot of water content, what happens is that moisture froze in there and it ruptures the cell wall of the plant. So you should be able to see already, if you have a bunch of agaves, like century plants or anything like that, you can go out and see that the leaves are starting to get real mushy, maybe yellow, almost clear looking. Um, those probably aren't gonna come back and you might be able to, the actual plant might live and it will regrow some new leaves as we go throughout the, the spring. But uh, it's going to be kind of iffy on some of those because a lot of times those won't tolerate single digits, especially with the, the, the other problem we had is we had ice form on everything first and then snow on it so they had to deal with the weight issue along with the freezing temperatures. So we have a had a couple of things working against us here, but it, you know, it, it, it is just plant material. It can all be cleaned up. If it needs to be replaced, it can be replaced. Not the end of the world. On your turf, again, uh, this is gonna go to the health of your turf on how well it can handle a freeze like this. The deeper your roots, the much better shape you're gonna be. Uh, and again, this will be Coming into spring, we'll know for sure, but if you start seeing your lawn looking more blackish versus a nice brown color for the dormant, you'll know you've taken some damage already. Um, and you may not have killed all the grass plants. Some of it might still live just fine and just kind of see how the spring goes. If you are signed up on our planting bed maintenance service, this these guys are gonna go and determine everything kind of case by case. If they can figure out, hey, this plant is is uh, burned back but needs to be cut back, they'll do that. Or they may just leave it and wait and see the next month or two what happens with it. Um, it it's going to be kind of difficult to determine right now exactly what to do with some of these. Some will be obvious, some won't. But just because your plant is turning brown or black, dropping leaves, doesn't mean it's compl it's dead for sure. It could just be it killed the outer branches or it could have just killed those leaves and it, the plant's gonna drop those leaves and it'll reemerge with new ones. Um, and if you're on, if your plants are on the north side of your house or a north facing slope, those are gonna be the ones that probably take the most damage versus a south side slope 
because that sun's able to kind of keep that area warmer a little bit better than on the north side. So there's there's a lot of little bit variables all throughout your property that'll determine whether some plants tolerate everything better versus others. But all we can do is, is wait and see what happens. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below and we'll get you taken care of. Thanks a lot.